What's going on guys, Alex here with TFL Bike with an update video on my Alpine Stars airbag system. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that a couple weeks ago, I was in the middle of filming a video with the Triumph Speed Twin. I did a full review on that bike. And as I was filming the review, I stepped off the bike and my airbag vest uh, deployed when it probably shouldn't have, scared the crap out of me. Uh, and I filmed a little video with the blood rushing through my body. My adrenaline was through the roof and I promised an update video once I figured out what happened and got a response from Alpine Stars. Today's that day, so let's jump into it and talk about what happened. Now, before we do jump into exactly what happened in my specific instance, let's first just take a second to talk about airbag tech in general. You guys had a ton of interesting points and comments on the last video I made. So part of this video is just to create an open forum for you guys to have a discussion about airbag tech down in the comments below. Now, everything I'm gonna talk about in this video is coming from my personal experience with just the Alpine Stars airbag systems. I know there's a ton of other different options out there, um, both computerized systems like this and also more of uh, old school tethered systems, um, but I have experience with Alpine Stars systems. I own two Alpine Stars airbag vests. Uh, I decided to make the leap into the Alpine Stars system uh, for the 2020 riding season because I already had a lot of Alpine Stars gear. I like the products they're offering and yeah, it just works well with the stuff I already have. So I've been riding with airbags this entire season and I have to say my first initial impressions of it were really good. Uh, they're really easy to use. It's kind of a mindless operation uh, and they're also super comfortable. I'm way more comfortable riding in one of these airbag vests uh, than I am in a traditional back protector. Yes, these are a little bit heavier, uh, but they just flow air a little bit better. They're less clunky. There's less straps and buckles in the way. So overall, I really really do like riding in an airbag vest. It's comfortable, the battery life is impressive. Really the only downside to the airbag system, uh, or at least what I thought initially, was the price. It's pretty expensive. Uh, this airbag vest, the Tech Air 5, was about $700, and the race version of it is even more expensive, about $1,150. So it's not cheap to get into airbag technology. And just to kind of clarify why I have two of these, you might be thinking it's kind of redundant, but it's actually not. So this is the Tech Air 5 uh, airbag vest, which came out this year, and it's a standalone unit. So so this is what I call my street vest. This goes under any jacket. It doesn't need to be an Alpine Stars jacket. I can wear it under a ski jacket or something if I really wanted to. Uh, and this is what I'm gonna be riding in on the street. So this has two gas canisters. They both deploy at the exact same time. Uh, so you're gonna get that rapid deployment. Uh, for instance, if you're sitting at a red light and you get rear-ended, you're gonna have a really instant deployment. Whereas the race vest still has two gas canisters, but they work a little bit differently. Only one of them is gonna fire at a time so the idea being if you go down on the track and you're not injured uh, you can walk it off and put the airbag vest back on so that you can still continue riding through the day and still have another airbag uh, deployment to keep you safe the race vest will not deploy when you're at a standstill so it's really meant for track use uh, whereas the tech air 5 system will deploy at a standstill and then the tech air race system does have to be inserted into an alpine stars jacket or race suit and you need one of their race compatible suits because it has a little plug in the back. Uh, so a little bit more finicky, a little bit more of an investment on this side, uh, but definitely two different uses for two different kinds of riding. All right, there's a little bit of a background on airbag tech, but before we jump into exactly what happened with my airbag, why it deployed, and what Alpine Stars said in response, let's first take a look at our sponsor, Rider Justice. How's it going everyone? This is Case from TFL Bike with our Ride Smarter Tip of the Month brought to you by Rider Justice. We all know riding two up is one of the great aspects of riding a motorcycle, but did you know that your insurance may not cover your passenger or that insurance coverage can differ if your passenger is married to you or not, or that your passenger may not be covered if you cause the accident? Neither did I. That's why you want to make sure you carry a healthy amount of uninsured slash underinsured coverage, as well as liability insurance. Shoot for at least $250,000 of uninsured coverage and more if you can afford it. On most premiums, that works out to a couple extra bucks a year, and it's worth it to protect you and the ones you love. To learn more about how to ride smarter with common sense tips anyone can follow, go to riderjustice.com. 
the champions of biker rights on the road, in the courtroom, and now across the country. Okay, so first of all, when this airbag first went off, the main thing I was saying in the video was I really hope they repack it for free. Uh, normally, when this goes off, it's not a one and done deal. You are able to ship it back to Alpine Stars. They recharge the gas canisters, they repack the airbag. So that's normally a $300 fee, and then they send it back to you, and you're good to keep on riding in the airbag vest. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to pay that $300 since I didn't get into an accident, and to me, it seemed like this was almost an error in the technology or an error in the coding and the algorithms that made this go off. Uh, so I reached out to Alpine Stars. Like I said, I happened to catch it on camera, so I sent them the video uh, and I pretty much asked them why it happened and this was the response they gave me. They emailed me back. Uh, so let me read that email to you. It says, after watching your video, it appears the twisting motion is what caused it to deploy. We apologize for this unexpected deployment. There was a software update which was released late July and one of the things it updated was the algorithm. It made it more robust to prevent any sort of unwanted false positives. Judging by the video, it does not appear so as the update would have prevented this from happening. Regardless, we will certainly update your system to the latest software so that this does not happen again before sending back. Please feel free to reach out with any additional questions. We would be happy to clarify any concerns. With the updated software, you can rest assured this will not happen again. So a couple of different thoughts I have on that. Uh, first of all, the twisting motion. Let's talk about that for a second. So Alpine Stars said the reason this airbag deployed was because I got off the bike, I guess, too aggressively and kind of made a twisting motion as I got off the bike. Well, the whole reason I love this Tech Air 5 system is because it's mindless. You don't need to think about it. You don't need to arm it or anything. There's a lot of airbag systems out there that you have to clip a tether onto your bike. And the issue I have with that is one, if you forget to clip the tether onto your bike, you're not protected at all. You get in a crash, that airbag's not gonna deploy. Second of all, if you're going to step off of your bike and you forget to remove the tether, same thing's gonna happen. Your airbag is going to deploy and that's why I like this system. If I have to sit on my bike, even though there's no tether connected and stop and think, okay, I'm stepping off of my bike. What motions do I need to do so that my airbag doesn't deploy? I think then that kind of renders this a little bit useless and at that point I don't see the difference between a super advanced system like this and just having a clip on tether. I would pretty much prefer a tether if that's going to be the case. Let's talk about the other issue I have with that twisting motion and that is maybe an accidental high side or something. Let's say I was riding down the road, was going into a left turn or something, the bike started the high side, I almost got bucked off the high side of it, uh, but then I saved it and put my butt back into the seat. Well, what if the airbag system thinks that I'm still high siding and you know, what happens is I end up getting tossed off the bike, I come back down onto the seat, manage to save it, but then all of a sudden the airbag deploys and I'm right back to square one and I end up getting into an accident anyway. Just another scenario where you might not wanna put your full trust into the algorithms in this system. Uh, if there is a twisting motion, you know, how does it know that you're actually recovering from the twisting motion, you're continuing down the road uh, and not force you into this scary deployment and make it so that you ultimately lose control of the bike. So that's kind of the two issues I have with their comment on the twisting motion. Some of you guys said this might have been an altitude issue. I don't know, Alpine Stars didn't say anything about that they just said it was uh, the twisting motion and the fact that I didn't have the latest software a lot of you guys in that last video had questions on whether or not I would have been able to keep a motorcycle upright have this airbag deployed while I was actually on a ride thankfully it deployed while I was stepping off of the bike but I have to say if I was going down in a straight line, I don't think it would have taken me down. It felt like someone came up behind me and grabbed my shoulders really hard and kind of shook me. Uh, but if I was mid-turn, I definitely think it could have caused me to lean the bike over uh, and just totally lose control and wipe out. Now, the one positive thing I got out of this experience was actually feeling what it was like to be inside of one of these airbags as it rapidly deploys. I've never had that feeling before. And I have to say it made me feel pretty good. I was really well enclosed in a big bubble. My arms got pushed out. 
Um, not to the point where I think they would be ripped off of a handlebar or anything like that, uh, but I definitely felt well protected and it happened super fast. I had no time to think about it. And I definitely felt more protected wearing an airbag than I did in oh, your traditional guys. back and chest protector. I am starting to kind of question this technology a little bit. You know, your standard back and chest protector has no moving parts, no technology. You don't have to charge it up. You know it's going to do its job. Uh, this is supposed to be a little bit better if it works and that's the whole key there is if it works. You really have to trust the algorithms, you have to trust the battery technology, uh, you have to trust that everything there is going to work in the way it was designed to keep you safe and if it doesn't there could be some serious issues. I really, really enjoyed riding in this stuff before this issue happened. Uh, I've been watching MotoGP for years and they've been using this technology for a long time. I watch those guys crash hard in this stuff and most of the time they're okay. So I was really excited to try it out for myself. Uh, and to be honest, I still am pretty excited to keep riding in this stuff. I'm just going to have to question it a little bit harder. I do still think I'll be riding in this. Um, pretty much on every ride that I go on, but I'm definitely gonna keep my back and chest protector close by just in case any more weird stuff happens with these airbags. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on these airbag systems, whether it's the standalone Tech Air 5 unit or the Tech Air race vest uh, that goes into some of the Alpine Stars jackets and suits, or you know if it's a Dainese or a Helite, any of the other brands that make airbag systems. Let me know your experiences with them. And even if you've never worn an airbag vest, maybe you just wear a back protector Will you be switching over to one of these anytime soon or do you think it needs a few more years? Anyway, I just wanted to kind of put this video out there to give you an update on what happened, let you know, yes, Alpine Stars did repack it for free. By the way, they didn't know about uh, the TFL Bike YouTube channel while I was emailing them, so it wasn't them trying to protect their brand or anything. I'm not sure if they would have done the same thing to anybody who didn't happen to catch it on camera, but anyway, just wanted to give you my thoughts. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one.